the novice who wants to attempt a big ship as I said I'm not going to go into the painting detail because you know everybody's got their own tastes but we are now at um, all the guns now are done and um, you should now be all glued up ready for painting the only thing i did is i glued the sides and the cans on let them dry and then these little bits at the end you if you they're a little bit fiddly and sometimes they don't quite go on you have to sort of twist them off so it's best to leave this until this part of it is dry and then afterwards they just slip on, you give it a twist around and then it's on and sealed. Touch of glue at the end, boom, done. Um, the only other thing I've done is help you along with this, is I've gone back to this bit. This bit now is totally dry. <laughs> but I've jumped a few pages because I've now glued on the rudder. You're asking, you're looking at, well, why have you glued on the rudder? It's not painted. Because if you're a novice and you've not done much painting, this is an easy tip for you. It means that when you've painted it and you're trying to stick it on the back, if you are not used to building models, then you're gonna get glue all round, mixed in with the paint, here so when you come to stick it on you can have a little blodge over your paintwork which is not going to look good so my suggestion to you is glue this piece on now and then paint it afterwards because that way you can do the whole lot whatever color you want whether you're hand painting or using an air gun and then you can go over these bits with your brush afterwards and then you won't have any overspill with the paint or glue that's sticking onto the paint job you've already done. So there's a little tip. Stick your back rudder on this piece next. Okay, that's the update. I shall um, come back to you when I've done some more. Happy building.